This is a 5C Spin Index Rose Engine. I made it in 2006 and it's a really nice machine. Uh, the legs here are made from a South Bend metal lathe. They were scrapped and a friend of mine gave them to me and they look really nice on this machine. Uh, the sides are uh, mahogany. It's got a cast iron top that's been blanchard ground. Uh, I, made, I made the supports and the bushings for the hand crank. It has a Taiwanese cross slide that was rebuilt by Dennis Dautlin and David Lindo. What's nice about that, if you could come in a little closer, you can take a look. It has some stops on them. Uh, the stops are pretty nice. For this low-end cross slide, having stops and a lock, uh, that David and Dennis put on a bunch of them years ago. Uh, a little grease and a Teflon washer between a few of the friction pieces. Uh, they're not that bad. Most people have upgraded over the years, but this is still one of the ones they did many years ago. Uh, if you'll take a look at the 5C Spin Index collet holder, it is basically a Taiwanese uh, tool today. You can buy them for $50. Uh, of course, they index 360 degrees, and I first saw this particular uh, type of machine from a friend of mine who's a kaleidoscope maker, and uh, he was doing some really nice work on his, and after I played with his for a couple of days, and we had a lot of fun with it, I came home and I made this. Uh, it was a nice project, and uh, if you'll take a little closer look here at this indicator, let's go over the rosettes for a minute. Let's take a look at these rosettes. It's five over, one over, about one, about one over, and five or six over. So basically, this rosette is only off center about five and a half thousandths or, or two and a half thousandths on a side, and two and a half thousandths on a side for a rosette is acceptable. Uh, if you want it a little closer than that, you mark the two highest points or any of the highest points and then take a small file, jeweler's file, and draw a file them down, two and a half thousandths, whatever it is you need, and you can make them within one in about five or ten minutes. So this is a good machine. It runs on concentric. So you could just see two and a half thousandths. Uh, which is, I like to say, acceptable. It's a nice little beefy machine. I have a, a spring in the back. And uh, all in all, it's been a good machine over the years. Now let's just take a quick look right here at the cutting frame. This is that old style cutting frame that most of us had uh, through, let's say, 2000 to, or oh, maybe 2008. This machine cuts really nice and really smooth. So you can see it doesn't take much to go around. But of course most people have now gone to using an overhead. Now let's, let's take a look at another fixture that I used to use on this machine. When I was doing this project years ago, an idea that I got from an SOT member. Uh, I wanted something to be able to go in and just make a, a slight little divot in this whole project. And when we used to use the old motorized cutting frames, I made this little fixture. And in right where this goes right here is a piece of brass with a little spot right here with a two set screws that clamp on to your cutting frame. And this, of course, is the clearance for your belt. You put the whole cutting frame through the hole, and this way you can twist it, just like this, on any angle you want. So these old fixed cutting frames can still be turned on any angle. And by doing that, it allows you to do a, something like this by just uh, pressing forward and coming to a predetermined stop, which is adjustable right here. So you don't have to have one with the slide and all that. It's a little overdone, 
but just having this piece right here on a piece of half inch or 916 stock with the center piece and the clamp will allow you to put the old style cutting frames on any angle. So that's it for the 5C spin index collet. Uh, see us again in the Rose Engine Shop.